right here i have a problem from lead code 139 word break which is exactly similar problem what we discussed here yeah this is not the end i am going to solve the same problem same exact problem using bfs memoization and dp also okay so hey guys welcome back today i have a very interesting coding interview question here the problem statement here is given a string s and list of words check if the string can be segmented into one or more words in the given list if you see this input the given string is interview dose and words are interview and dose expected output is true because interview dose can be divided into two words interview and dose which are present in the words the list of words right the given list of words okay and if you see the other example here subscribe interview dose subscribe okay and the words the given words are subscribe interview and those and expected output is true why because subscribe interview dose subscribe this full string can be divided into three strings subscribe interview and dose but the subscribe word can be used multiple times that's why this is still returning true okay so the same word in the given list can be reused multiple times yeah so how can we solve this problem okay if you closely look this problem okay what we are doing here we are actually dividing the string into multiple substring right all possible substrings and checking if all the this substrings are present in the given list of words the simple solution to this problem is recursion right or we can actually we can say it is a dfs problem so we are going to return a boolean right we are going to check whether we are able to segment the string into all these given multiple words or not right so yeah let's return a boolean okay and let's call our method as can segment okay and we'll pass a string string s and list of words which are list of string right i'll call it i'll call it words okay fine so now we have the function prototype what we are going to do here okay the words given here are in the form of a list right but when we do substring when we are going to divide the string into substring and then we are going to, we are going to search all this substring in this list to make it faster what we can do we can actually put all of these words into a set okay so let's do that first that's the first step that we will do okay so set string i'll call it dictionary okay or dict okay for now equal to new hash map and i'll pass this words okay okay now i have a dictionary okay fine good uh, now what will we do as i said we'll be using dfs to solve this problem okay so let's call a dfs method let's call our dfs method as can segment dfs for now okay so i'll call a dfs method now return can segment dfs okay and i'll pass the string okay and i'll pass the dictionary fine now this can segment dfs will actually return us whether we can segment this given string or not okay now let's just fill this can segment dfs so boolean can segment dfs okay string s and and set of string and dict right okay now in this dfs method the first step is of course the base case the validation uh, the step which is required to stop our recursion right so we'll fill that later okay so i'll say base case okay now what we can do we can actually write a for loop okay int i equal to one for all the possible substring okay that can be created for this given string okay so if i uh, for int i equal to one i less than equal to s dot uh, length 
i plus plus okay what i'm going to do here i'll i'll break this string into substring here okay so let's call the first path the left part okay as s dot substring string substring 0 to i okay that's why i started with i equal to 1 okay because i don't want to start with 0 it doesn't make any sense to start i equal to 0 okay and the right part string right equal to s dot substring i okay the first substring will return a string starting from 0 to i index okay i is not included okay so first so 0 1 will actually contain only the 0th element in the string yeah this is string substring method i am using here okay so now we have found the left part and the right part okay so now what we can do here we will check if the left part exists in the dictionary so we will search the left part in the dictionary and if it exists if it does exist then we will check if the right part exists in the dictionary and if it is then we are done right then we can say that yeah i can the string can be segmented then i can return true right so that's what we're going to do here okay we'll check if dict dot contains what the left part and the right part exists in the dictionary right so what we can do we can actually call the dictionary dict contains right as a whole it can be present as a whole or it can be actually broken down into further substrings and we, it can be checked if they are present in the dictionary so how can we do that instead of writing like this what we can do we can actually call this can segment dfs right this method right here okay so can we form can we segment this right part also so write and then we'll pass the dictionary okay so what we are telling here can we segment this right part in the similar way how the left part is checked okay so we can say we return true here okay return true okay we have not filled the base case yet let's take this example of the first input interview dose so uh, let's say we uh, in the for loop somewhere we found interview okay we already found interview okay so dictionary contains left dictionary contains interview yes and we are calling the can segment dfs with the right part so dose right will come here and let's say i is equal to the s of length the right part is empty okay so clearly we'll stop our recursion when the right part will be empty right so what i can say here in this base case if s is empty return true okay so now we have our base case okay s is empty return true so now after the follow we can say return false we already have a solution here okay um, but we can do a little bit of optimization by introducing a visited set so just continue returning false for all those cases which are already processed right so let's do that small you know optimization here okay i'll say uh, set uh, string okay visited equal to new hash set okay this should be hash set okay yeah hash map has two fields right key and value hash set doesn't have but yeah internally has set does have two fields but that is abstract to us okay but anyway this should be hash set okay don't do that mistake fine we'll pass the visitors into our can segment dfs okay i'll pass this 
set string and I'll call it visited okay and now we can say if visited dot contains contains what contains this string okay that we are processing right now hmm? so if the string that we are processing right now already visited then we just want to ignore that okay we can say return false hmm? yeah and we have to fix here the ICT and then we will pass the same visited after this we can just mark this string as visited right so I can say visited dot add s okay and that's it yeah this is my solution for this particular problem let's go ahead and test it right here I have a problem from lead code 139 word break which is exactly similar problem what we discussed here I copied this solution into this and I ran it you can see there is a time limit exceed why because I have not used this visited set yet okay so that's the reason we are getting time out let's just use the visited set here as I said visited dot contains s if if then return false and after that we'll mark the string s as visited visited add s right visited contains okay now let's submit this and boom so we got rid of the time limit problem by introducing the visited set okay time complexity for this particular problem is o of n cube and space complexity is o of n yeah this is not the end i am going to solve the same problem same exact problem using bfs memoization and dp also okay we are going to learn a lot of different ways to solve this particular problem so stay tuned and continue watching thanks guys thanks for watching and see you next time